Hi, Captain Mike here again with a, uh, a video on how to make pendants in your school colors or just two color fusing in general. But I'm going to make a pendant uh, that is representative of, uh, well, in this particular case, the University of Georgia. Uh, and what you will need is a kiln, microwave kiln. You'll need piece of kiln paper and you will need some glass. I am using Bullseye COE 90. I cut four pieces, two reds and two blacks and I line them up, push them together so the seam is good. If you want to use some aloe or some uh, this glass plastic gel you can put a little bit on there and it sometimes helps a little bit to kind of hold them together so they don't slide around quite so much. Stick a little bit of that on there, push them up together. This stuff burns off. So this is what you get. It's square, but it will turn uh, rounded and it'll look like a nice shape for a pendant. So we'll take this and we'll go over to the uh, microwave and continue. Okay, we're over here at the microwave and as you can see I've got it all lined up here on the bottom of the kiln and uh, we're going to spray a little bit of this uh, overglaze on it. It's just uh, something to keep it from maybe devitrifying and being a lot shinier. And we'll put the kiln bottom in there and the top on it. Record. And we'll hit it for three minutes to start with. Okay, the first three minutes is up. After the first three minutes, I always like to check it to see if everything is still in place. Sometimes it will slip out. Uh, all looks good, so I close it back up. And I hit it for three more minutes. And it should start to get hot now. Okay, the second three minutes is up. Let's check it again and just see how, how it's doing. Okay, everything is still in place and it hadn't started to heat up. So uh, I will go ahead and hit it a few more times. Uh, probably going to take about 12 minutes to do this. Uh, and when I get it down to uh, pretty close to being finished, uh, I'll uh, uh, show you what I've got. So here's the third three minutes. We'll start it here. Okay, we've zapped this thing about 15 minutes total. Let's look inside here and see what we got. Oh yeah, it's looking just fine. I think I'm going to leave it at that. It's uh, looking pretty good. So. I'll close it down, let it sit here for a few minutes, then I'll take it out, uh, set it outside here for a while, and uh, let it so that it will cool slowly. And then I'll show you what it looked like just as soon as it's cool enough to touch. Okay, here we are with the finished product. Showed you before, we started what it started with. It started square. And, of course, this is the Georgia red and black. To be fair, I went ahead and done an, an Alabama uh, maroon and white. So, you get nobody can accuse me of, of playing favors. Although it's obvious that I do. That's just a bigger one that I made. And from that, uh, I nap arrowheads and uh, which is another one of my hobbies and uh, as you can see it makes a very very nice arrowhead and a very nice pendant so you can do it in any of your school colors and it's very simple to do I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, uh, it was helpful to you in some way thank you